We're at the airport in Bali and we're going to Surabaya. going to Surabaya, we have several places that we want to see. So one is the Volcano, the Bromo, then a beautiful waterfall and a village. And we have placed for all possibilities that will come to us. And yeah, um, when I'm in Bali, I always stay in Bali to travel within Bali or maybe the islands. So this is the first time for me to discover really another uh, part of Indonesia. I'm so much looking forward. I've seen some videos on Instagram and yeah, that has actually been my inspiration to come to Surabaya and yeah, let's go! Yes, we arrived in Surabaya and oh. I... <laughs> 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 yes, and we have a car. We are renting a car. I need yeah. to sign. Okay. What is it's your so first? super hot here. Super hot. It's yes. so hot. So we go into the car. There's the air conditioning. <laughs> yes, here we go. We are ready. Finally, because we had some problems with the payment, but it's good now. Vamos. And Uti is going to drive, right? Yeah, vamos. Okay, vamos. Spaghetti because there's no spoon, it's only this. Go for it <laughs> to the restaurant, it was really cool, nice atmosphere, Italian atmosphere in, in Indonesia. And now we are going to amazing place. Wait for it. Crashed. It's not crashed, it's just oh. fell by itself. Oh, okay, it okay, yeah, no, it fell by itself. It's not the pilot, it's the drone. It is somewhere there. Let's go find it. But a new adventure, finding the drone. Um, I have my drone with me, so we have a backup, but we made such an amazing video, so hopefully we will get it. Go to the Jeep, and so we have a new mission. Where are we going actually? We just we go. To find the drone where it's full because we need the memory card. We need the memory card. Sunrise uh, mission field. Yes. And yeah, that's actually the only goal for now. <laughs> Coming closer. 
it's like seven oh. minutes, two kilometers away from us. So coming closer, we have good hopes that the memory cards we will find. If the drone crashed from such a high, yeah, probably yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't even find it, I'm sure I'm just somewhere here. It's somewhere here? Of course it's in front of us. <laughs> in front of us, the Montes. <laughs> searching and it's hard because the drone is gray and nature yeah has also some gray colors it's very hard to to find it and <coughs> the google maps says it's just one minute from where we are i'm already one minute or two minutes away so it's between urti and me that the drone is there sometimes when you're searching for something you will never find it and sometimes the best things come to you when you're not even searching for it. Like my house in Amsterdam, by the way. And sometimes bad luck, bad luck turns out to be good luck. This is what I keep in mind. Uh, yeah, and I'm still searching like with my eyes, but we did our best. And also the driver is still far away searching. So we have been going over this whole field and up yeah, I am not a person who gives up easily, and Uti also not. So, it's very strange to walk away without reaching this goal. I had really good hopes, but if you see the location of the drone, yeah, we were standing exactly on the location, it wasn't there. <laughs> remote controller but we have three remote controllers now <laughs> without drones <laughs> upside down Just inside out and <laughs> right around new style yeah fashion fashion yeah fashion. okay drone number two she want to say goodbye to her drone she trusts me and give it to me I'm not like, gonna say goodbye. You should, you should take a photo with it. I, I, oh! <laughs> Let's go. I trust you. I trust you. Else, but don't trust the drone because mine is fall by itself. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. It's actually really Urti who knows those things, who finds out those things. He's a real traveler and I enjoy joining him and working with him. That's how we get to wonderful places. We are both always in for everything and positive about everything. And that makes us a good team. But we are always like, oh, let's find out something new. Let's go somewhere we've never been or somewhere he has been. And it's always good.
arrived at the waterfall. We have to go down a path. to Rainbow Village and wow it's sometimes so hectic when you travel and I'm also having my company and then my assistants are asking questions and I'm in this busy car so sometimes in traveling you also feel restless because you want to do it all but what I really want to do is being in the moment and enjoy myself actually that's the only thing I can do so we're gonna enjoy this Rainbow Village with all the colors Almost there. Yeah, we arrived. Finally. We made it. Yeah, so we arrived. We arrived at the Rainbow Village and it's a lot of colors. I've never been here. Um, we just had to pay 5,000 rupiah, which is like three euros. And we can have this colorful, beautiful new experience for me. village you see a lot of children playing and this is actually a project from a school they wanted to bring more tourists in and that's why a school made all these colors in this village it's so super cool and it also has the energy from the children you see so many children playing every country should have a school to bring a village with all these colors not even to get tourists but just to get happiness playfulness and Aliveness. Oh my gosh, yesterday was a long drive, six hours, first two hours from Romo to the waterfall, and then more than six hours. We've been in the car at least eight hours yesterday, and now we're waking up at a beautiful place, and we go to the temple in a moment. We arrived at the temple, and we are really lucky because so many days are fully booked, and we exactly could be here now. They don't do the sunrise uh, tickets anymore, so we are here at um, 8.30. Here's a queue. It's super busy because it's Saturday. And then we go up at 9, just one hour, and then we have to leave. You know, there's a huge garden. There's a lot of shops. It's so much commercial stuff. We are in a group now, and we have new shoes. All Amazing. the same. Nice. Yes. And now we go with a tour guide and yeah it's just one hour not longer so I'm curious uh, how this will go
crowded. It's really nice to see the temple, but it's just one hour and yeah, we're already done. I did buy something uh, as a souvenir, as a tourist. And one thing for my nephew also, and this is to show my nephews and my nieces about the culture in Java. I think this is such an art, like handmade. See how much work is in this. Then I think it's nice to buy. I can I need my hand to show what it is because you can play with this. Oh, it has to be the other way around, I guess. Yeah, wow, look how much work this is. But yeah, you can play with that. Cannot show you me completely, but I think this is so much work in this dolls, it's insane. of Java, it's there, and to go up, we go on the motorbike, so this friend is taking yes. me up. Um, Vamonos! <laughs> Hello, morning! How was your ride? Great, it's a bit cold, but it's good, it's really Love good. It. How is the view? Amazing! Wow, so nice! Yeah, so nice! <laughs> so we're not sure how to drive towards the airport we don't have a lot of time I mean we have to catch our flight of course and yeah we hope we'll, we will make it okay I'm back in Amsterdam as you see I'm having a new house and I'm super happy with that and yeah wow Java it feels like a dream as if I was in a dream we went from yeah, we were in center, the center of Java. We went from north to south to east to west, and it was still the center, central Java. So much to discover. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna focus on publishing a book and writing another book. One book is a Roman, and it's definitely also about plant medicines, but it's also very, yeah, like a romantic, dramatic, emotional story, uh, but also with life lessons and it's motivational. Then I'm starting a book about microdosing. So I'm super excited. Uh, it's a new path in my life. I mean, I've published a book. I've been writing another book together with other authors, but being an author is a dream of me. So traveling is a dream. This is gonna be a dream. And maybe the next dream is to make a documentary in South America about plant medicines. Who knows? It doesn't leave my mind. So when something doesn't leave your mind, I think it is meant to become your reality.